Hey, hey, happy day. Or is it a happy day if you're a Canadian and you live in Canada? It's not that happy even if you're a Canadian and you don't live in Canada. It's still not very happy because you see what's going on with your country, right? Canadians, they face unprecedented challenges that threaten the Canadian way of life. It's clear that the Trudeau administration has failed Canadians have they ever in a huge, huge way. I mean, look what's going on. Aside from the corruption with him, the prime minister, the leader, he's trying to change the country into some kind of image that no one can recognize. But you know, in addition to that, look at the food banks in Canada. They've never been so busy. It's big business now to be in the food bank business. Crime is up almost 50%, higher in some places, 30% in others. But I gotta tell you, it's high. It's increasing because people are frustrated and the bad guys, they say, hey, it's catch and release anyway, so let's go be bad because the laws are a direct reflection on the activity of criminal behavior, right? I mean, overdoses have hit an all-time high. There's people dying all of the time in fentanyl. People that peddle fentanyl, I mean, that's murder. I mean, it's unprecedented. Really, what's going on, it is murder. I mean, it's premeditated murder. If I sell you fentanyl and these guys are getting this catch and release and that's going on, and homelessness has never been higher either. And that cost of living makes Canada totally unaffordable. Taxes eat almost half of all of the money that people make. Now, if you factor in all the other taxes, provincial and otherwise, it goes up as high as 75%. Who can afford to live there? I mean, this thing is totally crazy. Housing prices are some of the highest prices globally. We're talking about the world, okay? Chinese Communist Party, the Chinese Communist Party has, has they've come into all levels of government and basically they're running Canada like a proxy country. I mean, it's totally crazy. I mean, election fraud is rampant. 600 billion, 600 billion, 60% of a trillion dollars in COVID aid is missing. No one can find the money. Hey, I kind of know where you should look, okay? And it's in some politicians' bank accounts. Immigration is one million people a year, at least, that we know about anyway, with no housing, no vetting, no vetting, no vetting whatsoever. And, and people are just pouring across the border and then Canadians get to pay for them. Wow, the hotel rooms and the food and everything else. It, it, again, it's just totally crazy. The Charter of Rights and Freedom has been dismantled, effectively. The government is uh, threatening to take away uh, provincial mineral rights now. I mean, why not kind of bring it all into one basket? Kids have many uh, mental health issues from COVID. Suicide rates are high. People are getting their bank accounts shut down because of their political views, right? You have to agree with me or I'm gonna take your bank account away. You have to agree with me or you can't get a job in any government place. I mean, that's what's going on. You're not entitled to have your own thoughts. Bill C-11 censors the internet. We've lost freedom of speech. Guns are being banned. Digital currency is coming because that's another piece of control. We have to really control. You would know what you all are gonna do. And fertilizer, it's forced to be cut. The debt is highest in the G20. Our military is gutted. Politicians are cowardly. They truly are on all sides. They don't stand up and talk. They should, some, they don't. And, and uh, no one, no one can help us but us. So, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Kind of like a Ghostbuster thing. I, I mean, you gotta get rid of all these people. They're just horrible people. And, and governments typically, when they become governments, they don't change anything that the other government did, even though they complained about it all the time. This time, somebody must get in and change it because the country has been redefined, it has changed, and, and no one asked the shareholders, the stakeholders, that would be the citizens, nobody asked them if it was okay. And 70% and of Canadians did not vote Liberal, 70%, and they're causing 100% of the damage to the country. Hey, everything I just said is censored, right? I mean, because the free speech is gone, everything is gone, how do we fix it? You can. We can people power. We really must get together and make this work. Ah, it ain't working right now. Hey, see ya.